Hey everybody, this is Video Bob. I got another great video review. Uh, this is all about Robin's jeans. Now, Robin's jeans are high-end luxury jeans sold uh, by Robin's jeans at their uh, flagship stores in Beverly Hills and around the country. You can go to robinsjeans.com and see where they sell their jeans. They also sell them through other retailers such as Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, and other high-end stores. This video is about kind of how to spot the real ones from the fakes. Now, I'm not going to show any fakes right now. I want to show you the real ones so really you know what you're looking for. Because, first of all, here's the deal. If, if you're at a flea market, a bazaar, some kind of low-end place, you know, some ghetto bazaar, um, those aren't real Robin jeans. They would never uh, get the ability to sell those as a retailer, as a reseller. These are sold at places like Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, and usually sometimes, for instance, like these are brand new, okay? Price on these, $575 retail, and these were made exclusively, exclusively for Saks, and um, it seems to, yeah, so, so right on the pocket, um, where it says Sac 20, this was an exclusive for Saks Fifth Avenue, and we're gonna talk a, a little bit about the, some of the characteristics of the jeans. Of course, you have tags. You uh, now Robin's jeans when they're new, they come with this little keychain here, and uh, you know you'll notice you've got this tag with the size. It's got a nice little brass grommet there. Okay, um, some other very fine characteristics of this keychain. I mean, you can see that the the way these links are, the detail on the wings, they're perfect. All right, there's no little abrasions or dimples. Um, you can see where it reads Robin Jean, okay. Um, now this has the plastic on it, which I didn't really, let me see if I can remove this easily. Um, and I, I didn't wanna take forever for this, but people who, if you search for this, I'm sure you've found some of the other videos that are out there, and the videos that are out there suck. I mean, it's always just some ghetto dude who can barely speak English mumbling through yo look at this be blingy and this be shiny and this be you know i'm like come on dude i want to do this in english okay so i want you to notice something here when i unwrap this do you notice how this is a perfect perfect mirror okay not a blemish on it it's a perfect mirror of brass plating right or whatever this is gold it's perfect now when you go see the fakes you're gonna see that they are not perfect they're very like muddy looking I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up put it make it look new again but but the the, the fakes are do not sh shine like that they don't have that bling they're not mirror finish matter of fact they're pretty lumpy looking you know they just look like cheap plating you know so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this back on but anyway, this little keychain should come with a new pair of Robin's jeans. Now, if you're buying them used, that probably won't be there. Here's some other characteristics you want to look for. Uh, on the fly, usually on the fly, on most designs, you'll see this little set of wings with these three little rivets here. And uh, you can notice how those have been put on. The embroidery goes all the way through, through both sides. Notice it's a shiny type of embroidery. Also, take a close look at the button here how it says uh robin's jeans california robin jean california that's something you can look for here's a close look at the tags okay now these are made in america in los angeles at their factory you'll notice there's also this like paper this is a this should be like a paper and this is a fabric and this is uh like their story a little bit a little bit about the company and that should be on what would be your right hip. You'll also notice this embroidery, which is uh, common on all the fakes as well. And also what I've noticed on a lot of the fakes is they get the stitchings correct. You know, you'll notice these little corner pieces, those are put on as support for the back pocket. See how that's stitched on there? To make sure your back pocket doesn't rip off. So they get that right. Now you'll also see on the left hand pocket, uh, this silk screened American flag, real American jeans designed by Robin. I don't know how to say his name, last name. He's a French guy. Uh, is that 
Trichyen or whatever, in the City of Laws of Angels made in the USA. Okay, so something I've seen, you also notice this is like a, like a knapsack kind of uh, tan material. The pockets are always this color. You'll, I saw a set of fakes that actually had that on both sides, and then I saw another fake where it was on this side reversed. Okay, so that shouldn't be there. All right, another thing about Robin's jeans is they always use these YYK zippers. Now, maybe other designs might change a little, but notice this zipper. It's this uh, kind of antiqued finish on them. Okay, so all Robin's jeans are going to have um, YYK brand zippers. See that? And YYK is a good quality brand of zipper. Um, now, the studding, you'll see a lot of pants. We'll get into the studding later. We'll show you pant some pants with studs. But they always have four um, holds on them. See how these are done? Here's the rear patch. Now, this particular one is this shiny material. Now, one of the things you'll notice is the patch is put on last. It goes through all layers of fabric. There's a reason for that. As they, Because uh, I've called Robin Jeans, I've talked to them. And as the jeans go through their last quality control, the patch, it's sort of like putting the badge on a car after it's finished. The patch doesn't go on until after it passes quality control check. Here's another little, uh, little tag sewn in to the right hip, if you can see that. You'll also see things like these wings that are on the back. Okay. Now, another thing about Robin's jeans is just the quality. The quality of the stitch. This is some like intricate work here. This, this, whatever this is called. I don't know what you call this uh, folding. But also, notice how the material looks like leather, almost feels like leather. You know, it's, it's called a waxed process. But it's, it goes all throughout every part of it. A lot of the fakes you find, it looks like, well, they were literally just painted, okay? Here's another characteristic about Robin's jeans that a lot of people overlook. Robin's jeans have an inner and outer layer. Let me see if I can separate this and I'll show you. Anyway, you know, they usually have linings in them, like they're, they're layered, okay? So this is a new pair. Let's go to another pair here. All right, now these ones, these ones I purchased, I've had these for a long time. Now these I bought at Neiman Marcus. I paid about 500 bucks for these. I've been wearing these for about a year and a half now. They've got a few little tears in them, you know. I, the paint is starting to rub off of here. I wanted you to see what a, a uh, used pair looks like, a well-worn pair. I mean, I've been wearing these like a lot. You know, like you could see that the flag has basically just about worn off the inside. And these are genuine. I mean, I bought them from Neiman Marcus. I was there. I remember when I bought them. But, you know, notice the zippers, the YYK zippers with the hole. Okay. And these are the, the, the waxed process as well. But like I said, you know, the waxing is starting to fade a little bit with washing because I've had them for a long time. So I wear those a lot. Now these, these I just recently picked up. These are sort of blingy. These are kind of, of a rare special edition version. Uh, they've got the rhinestone booty on them, which this is not a flap. This is on an open pocket. And notice this silk screened snake skin that's been added. These are rare. I haven't been able to find another pair of these. Um, but a very different patch. Really, one of the things I'm just trying to point out about Robin Jeans, you know, because they do these little short runs of things, but there's a certain amount of quality. Uh, and once you just get used to handling high-end clothing, you'll, you'll get what I'm saying. You know, also in the pocket, you've got the three rivets here, and then also in the fly three rivets, the very faded American flag in the pocket. You know, and I, let me take back some. Earlier I said that the pockets were always that one color. That I was wrong. 
because these are clearly a gray color. But they're always like a different material than the jean. So they're, they're usually either this gray color or that other color because I'll show you on, on other pants I have. It's usually either that gray color or this, this tan color. But notice how faded it is. It's just on there a little bit. If it's on there like super, super bright, like bleh, that's usually a sign that it's fake. You know, again with the tags, you know. And some of the fakes I've seen, I mean, they've got the tags in there, but they'll screw up in little ways. The tag will be on the wrong side or whatever. You know, and just, it's just the general quality isn't good. These are some that I just uh, recently got. Now, there's a special story about these. And let me tell you, okay? When I first ordered these, I actually ordered these and these other red ones behind them. And I got them, and I noticed when I got them, they were missing the three rivets right there. And also on the fly... There was no rivets. I was like, what the hell, dude? Then I looked on the back where the patch goes, and there was no patch. But it hadn't been cut off. It was never added. Then I looked at the tags, and the tag had been cut in half. So I was pretty upset about this. I contacted the seller, and he explained to me that he buys Robin's jeans from the manufacturer in LA, at, and they have these special sales that they sell uh, to dealers, their factory seconds. These are jeans that maybe didn't pass quality control. Maybe they're too long or too short, or there was a seam that was wrong, or something got left off, or they didn't pass Mr. Robin's uh, QC check, which means they never got their badge put on. They never got, the th this was never put on. So I called them and verified this. They told me, yeah, that's true. If it doesn't pass inspection, it doesn't get the back badge put on there, and Mr. Robin will cut the tag off himself, cut it in half, and then they will sell them at a discount. So, these are genuine Robin's jeans, okay? But they don't come with the tags, and they don't have some of those other characteristics. But you can, and if, you, if your seller's telling you that this is what the case is, and maybe you're finding these out in Los Angeles or other places, or resale shops, uh, look for those other things I taught you, like you know the the, the zippers, um, the other types of things. Like here's a here's this pocket here, you know. Notice how that is, the same color. And and another thing about Robin's jeans is they always use some uh, a, a a kind of a stretchy material, and uh, they generally will have a liner. You know, they generally are, are, are like uh, multiple layers, you know. Um, but, let's see here. Notice how this is kind of a, see how it's a stretch material? And let's see, uh, it'll tell you on the tag what the material is. Of course, this tag's cut off, so I, I can't read what that is. But anyway, um, it's, they're never just made out of like denim, like Levi's denim. They're always this like stretch kind of material. Okay. These are some that I also, I bought these at Neiman Marcus as well. These black ones here. Okay. These are genuine faux show. They're, they're the, definitely the stretch material. Look at, look at how they, they stretch. Okay. This is not like denim. Whatever this, I, I don't even know what you call this spandex type material, but you know, again with the pockets, the American flag, very faded. It's not super bright and thick. It should be faded. That's how it comes. Okay, now these are my, this particular pair is one of my favorite pairs of pants. I wear these all the time. They are so, so comfortable. And these are the motorcycle. And actually, I cut, there was a, there was like a, 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 a a buckle here, I cut it off because it was scratching up my seats in my car and stuff. So I was like, that's gotta go. And I know, $500 pair of jeans, I took a pair of scissors to them, I don't care. I didn't want them scratching up my seats in my Cadillac, so. Anyway, so here's another pair of red uh, Robin jeans that I got. And these also are factory seconds without their badge. Notice there's no badge on them. I got them from the same seller on eBay, and you can go on there and probably find this guy on eBay. I don't know his name on there, but 
but they're genuine. They're definitely genuine because I tell you, when you go look at the fake ones, the fake ones are so retarded, stupid, that you realize how good a quality these are when you look at the fake ones. And the fake ones are selling for like 60 bucks. You cannot make a pair of pants like this with this type of sewing technology, this type of material, these kind of hardware for, for no 60 bucks retail. That, you know, these are made in America. You're paying American citizens, American wages to use top quality uh, tools and materials to make this this waxed uh, uh, material uh, with this, you know, I don't know how they do this process, but it's pretty impressive. And I get a lot of compliments off of these pants, I'll tell you. But these again, you know, um, they don't have the, the rivets there. They don't have the rivets there and they don't have the badge, but I had them authenticated by Robin's Jeans and they, they were factory seconds. But just, you know, they're, they're, look at the, how the material stretches. It's not denim, okay? They're never made of denim. Also, notice the color consistency. These are two, diff two different styles of pants from two different runs. And look at that. Like, they match, pretty much. I mean, these, were, these are new and have never been washed. These have been worn a lot and have been washed. So there's a slight color de uh, deviation there. But that's something that uh, you'll notice with the fake ones is that none of them ever match. When you go look at them, you'll see that no two colors match because they're just using random bits. Again, with the, uh, the YYK antique finish um, zippers and the hardware. Very good quality there. The thing is, they're getting very good at faking stuff like these buttons. Um, so really what you want to look for, here's something I've noticed about the Chinese manufacturers. They're, they've gotten to be really good at replicating per specific things. They just don't have an eye for detail because most of these people, they can't read or write or speak English. So they don't know what the things on here say. And, you know... Uh, I know it sounds crazy, but I, I think some of them don't know the difference between, um, you know, English writing going the correct way. Because this, which is silk screened in here correctly, I saw on a pair of fake jeans, it was silk screened backwards on the wrong pocket. Maybe it was a transfer from laying like that or something, but you'll, you'll never find something like that on the Robin jeans. So, you know, the, uh, it seems like the Chinese manufacturers who make the fake stuff, they just have a problem remembering symmetry. Like they'll, they'll put something on the wrong side or in the wrong place, you know? And those are the little obvious things you wanna look at because the reason I wanted to show you a bunch of these all at once is you'll notice that they all have certain things in common. They all have that embroidery there, there. They all have the tags in the exact same place. They all have the silk screening in the exact same place. They do have a certain amount of consistency and there are certain things that they put on almost every single pair of their jeans, like this little loop right here. This little loop is for you to attach your chain wallet, all right? There it is on that, you know, and you're going to find that on basically every, you know, the fakes are probably going to get that right as well, but it's just something you can look for. Now, these ones don't have that on there. I just made a fool of myself and these don't have it on there, but well, you know what? This particular style with the zippers is the Moto series. I think it's called Motard actually. Uh, I think that's what it's actually called. Let me see what this one says. This one's called this one's called the racer, but it, it's called the Moto series. So all of the Moto series, well, that makes sense because, uh, yeah, see these are Motos also. And they have the zippers, and the chain wallet. So these are designed for motorcycle riders, and what's and that's the design. That's why they have the uh, padded and embellished knees. And they have the leg zippers, which are kind of kind of bullshit because the idea was that you're on a motorcycle and you need a place to put stuff, but these are all fake zippers. So these are for like wannabe rich bikers. I'm an actual real biker who rides a real Harley Davidson. So those zippers won't do me any good. But I do, uh, I do like the Moto series. You notice how each one of them have some sort of a, a padded knee. So I'm guessing these, these blingy ones here, these are more for your more flamboyant guys. See, yeah, so they don't have, they don't have that. But I, I do love these. Look at how cool that is. I mean, you know, as a textile, 
Just look at that snake skin. It's like a rattlesnake. It's like a shiny snake skin on top of a matte finish. And uh, again, I don't know what this material is. Maybe it's a cotton, but it's look, look at see how it stretches. It's not denim, not traditional denim anyway. And these are also Moto Series. Also, these would be. Yeah. And these were the first ones I ever bought from Neiman Marcus. Yeah, so you've got this padded thing and the knees and and I tell you, you know, I get so many compliments walking around in these pants. I highly recommend Robin's jeans. And here's a re, you know, don't buy the fakes. And and here's the thing about the fakes. I mean, for people like the people who know, the hope, you know, when when you're wearing the, these jeans and and with the hopes of trying to impress people, right? You, I mean, the whole point of wearing fashion jeans is because you want to look good. You want to tell the world, hey, I, I dress well, and I'm successful, and, um, you know, this is who I am. D is who you want to be a guy who wears fake pants that look like shit, and other people sit, notice your fake Rolex and your fake Jordans and your fake Pradas and your fake stuff? I could sit here and do videos on all kinds of this stuff. I, I, I like to wear fashion shoes and pants and shirts. I like Robert Graham shirt i like uh, prada shoes versace shoes i like these robin's jeans and i can tell you that once you've been around find fine materials like these uh and you get to know them you can spot the fakes a mile away so don't wear the fakes you're just going to ruin your integrity you know once once you've been called out on being a, a, a faker a fronter whatever that's called a dude that's uh full of shit or a chick that's full of shit with your fake Dooney Burke purse and your fake coach and your fake Louis Vuitton. You're just selling yourself out. You know what I mean? Because not only do you look like a fool, no one believes that stuff is real. People spot it and know that it's fake. And it, and it dilutes the value of what it is and it dilutes your, your personal value. I mean, you just have no integrity as a person is what I'm trying to say. But it just, you know, it's just, it's just I don't know. It's a personal thing. Maybe I'm getting p political here. But the point is, is the reason you're watching this video is because you don't want to get caught up. And the bottom line is, you generally aren't going to get good deals on this stuff. Don't go to the flea market looking for Robin's jeans. Don't go to eBay looking for Robin's jeans. Don't go to Craigslist, okay? If, if, if you're not at Neiman Marcus or Saks Fifth Avenue or one of the other authorized dealers listed on Robin's jeans website, they are fake. Okay, now once in a while you get a, a good deal like I found with this guy on uh, eBay. And like I said, he gave me his information. I called Robin's Jeans. Uh, their phone number's listed on the internet. I talked to them. They verified him as a buyer. They verified that these were, you know, the ones that I bought were real. And, and that worked out and I was lucky. But most of the stuff you're going to find is fake. Especially the ones that are like super blinged out, like to the max. You notice how like a lot of this is kind of subtle. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, and also the quality of the, the, I mean, obviously these aren't rubies, but the quality of the gems, you know, like look at that. Notice how these are black and they're not some cheap chrome or gold or whatever. I mean, every, every style is a little different, but like, uh, that's just something I can point out. Like, look at the quality of these. It's, they're really good. You know, for rhinestones or whatever you call these, you know, and the way they're attached, they're not glued on. They're, hand, you know, these are put on by hand. I mean, because you can see, you can see the imperfections in them. Really, you know, they're not 100% symmetrical. It's done by hand in Los Angeles. So support American business, support Robin's Jeans. And uh, I'm Video Bob. Thanks for watching my video. Sorry it was so long, but I hope it was informative and maybe I saved you hundreds of dollars uh, because it's one thing to buy a pair of fake jeans that are 60 bucks it's another thing to buy a pair of fake jeans for 500 bucks thinking that they're real and so that's the other main thing you know if you're looking to go buy fakes for for under 100 bucks and save money that's one thing but if you're going to be shopping at some mall which isn't really a mall and you know what i'm talking about a ghetto mall and they're selling a bunch of uh, fake stuff. Just look for other things. If, they, if you see anything in there that looks like it might be suspicious, like this is a situation where one bad apple spoils the bunch. If the guy selling you the stuff looks like he's wearing fake Rolex and he's wearing fake Jordans and he's wearing fake 
this and that, and they got fake Robert Graham shirts and fake, 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 fake. Guarantee you everything else in there is fake. Just stay away from those places. They're garbage. All right. Anyway, uh, please subscribe to my videos. I do video reviews of all kinds of stuff. I mean, it doesn't matter what, you know, just random things. So uh, it's a lot of fun. And we also have a TV show called Screen Machines on, uh, on the Reels channel. And uh, have a lot of cool cars. And I, I'm also the singer of an 80s band. I do a lot of cool stuff. So <laughs> you'll just have to subscribe to tune in and watch. Anyway, thanks for watching that video, Bob. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.